So I have a full face here of Huda Beauty slash Glowish. So I thought I should put all these products together and see what we can come up with. So let's get started with the first product and that would be my primer. And this is the Glowish by Huda Beauty Blur Gem Primer. It's supposed to be silicone free, smoothing, I don't know, we'll see. I really, really love the actual consistency inside. It looks very yummy. Do not eat, this is for your face. But I have been just using it just to kind of, because I paid for it, so I want to get rid of it. But I don't know, I don't know what I, I feel about it. it. I don't think it's something, what I'm trying to say, I don't think it's something I will repurchase. Ah, I went in my hair. It feels very silicone-y when you first touch it. I'll show you the consistency. So there it is. It's very hard to see. I like that when you blend it, it kind of transforms itself into something hydrating. So that's what I feel. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm still... Like, I don't hate it, but I don't know if I will repurchase it. I don't know. It's not the Milk Makeup uh, Grip Primer. It doesn't feel like that. At first, when you apply it, it feels like that. And then it feels very nice and um, cooling and provides a little bit of hydration. So, we'll see. But I don't have a Huda Beauty uh, foundation anymore because I got rid of it in my last foundation declutter or the previous foundation declutter. It was very heavy and I didn't like that. However, I do have my Glowish by Huda Beauty Multi Dew Skin Tint in the shade O2 Fair Light. Now, if you have uh, dry skin, this is looks gonna look beautiful on your face. But if you do have oily skin, you might not like it because it's a little bit more glowy. I love the packaging. Let's start with this amount. And I'm going to use my, at first, Rare Beauty Foundation brush and just push the product in. So you can so see this is in O2 Fair Light. It transfers a little bit darker on the face, but because it's a skin tint, once you massage it into the face it's not gonna look so bad so i'm gonna go into my dampen sponge and just push everything in now so it provides a very nice natural glow not a lot of um not a lot of coverage you can still see uh, the stuff on my face but i don't know it looks very natural right it looks like it provides a nice glow and a little bit of tint to the face. Oh, there's Miss Kona coming now. Come on in. Yeah. Good girl. So it looks really pretty and natural. You can see non-drying, still glow, glowish. I've seen other people being more oily looking with this product, but on me... I don't know, I have normal to dry skin, it seems okay. So I think this is made in Italy and I really love the tubing, how you can just, it's a squeezy tube, so you can see how much I've used. Now this you can use as a primer underneath your regular foundation if you want. So if you wanna use more of a matte foundation, you can put this underneath. Okay, Kona's digging now. <laughs> so yeah, you can, 12 seconds later. You can use this under your foundation to provide that more natural glow coming through if you want. But yeah, it's a really, I really love it. So let's move on to the next product, which is a concealer. This is the Glowish by Huda Beauty Bright Light Sheer Concealer in the shade 00 Porcelain. There she is. Oh, she found her spot. Okay, so it comes into this squeezy tube. I love it. And this is a very nice... Oh, we also have... Okay, so just going to go with a little bit of this product only around the eye area because this is more glowish and hydrating just to brighten up this area up. Like, look how beautiful this looks. Don't like to add 
too much concealer on the side but because this is more hydrating it looks really nice but I've noticed when I add concealer when you have more of this fine lines from smiling and more dry skin throughout the day it just accumulates there and it just doesn't look good. So I'm just going to use this just to kind of brighten this under eye area and then we're going to go into one of my favorite concealers and this is the Huda Beauty Fall Filter Concealer in the shade Maringe 2.1 and I'm going to use this concealer in more areas here where I want more brightening and more coverage. Let's do that. I'm gonna go with my sponge. This provides, this is a more, this is like a full coverage concealer, but you can see that it looks, still looks glowish, <laughs> but it's more, uh, definitely more coverage you can see than the concealer we added around the eyes. But because we've already added a glowish there, I don't wanna go with another product. Even though this product looks really good on dry skin, mature skin around the eyes, I just don't want to add more product because the more products you add, the higher chance it is that it's going to just accumulate in there and crease. Now whatever I have, maybe, now whatever I have on my sponge, I'm just going to go over my eyelids. And there you go. Complexion looks beautiful with this product. They're not drying at all. Now I'm gonna go into one of my favorites cream bronzer. This is the Huda Beauty Tantour Cream Bronzer in the shade Light. And remember to keep this lid on so the product doesn't dry up. And I'm just gonna add a little bit because we're gonna go in with a powder bronzer after. So I'm gonna use my Patrick Taffen brush. This brush is great to use for cream and powder bronzer, so I'm going to use it for my cream. So a little bit goes a long way with this bronzer. It's so pretty. That looks pretty. So you can go with just a little bit more. So easy to blend. I will stop here with the cream bronzer because I have another bronzer that I want to apply and I don't want to make it too too crazy and the other bronzer that I really love and this is a powder bronzer by Glowish is the Glowish by Huda Beauty in the shade 02 medium. This is more of a soft radiance bronzer. I love the lattice swirl in there and I'm going to use my MAC 143S brush. It's a fan brush and this brush you can use on uh, powder bronzers or powder powder products but the Patrick Ty you can use on um, powder and on uh, cream so keep that in mind but this is just for powder and this is a very nice subtle bronzer and it bronzes up your skin in a way that makes it look very natural glowy non patchy this is one of my favorite powder bronzers because it's so easy to work with you can see and this brush feels much softer than the Patrick Ta one. I guess that's more dense, so you can also apply uh, cream products with. Okay, so I think very natural bronzed. Let's move on to blush. So I have two blushes. I have the Huda Beauty blush stick, and then I have this Huda Beauty tinted blush. But I'm gonna use this for my lips instead because you can use this on lips. You can use this on lips as well. This is more of a tinted product, so I like tinted products on my lips. So this is the Rebel Red Cheeky Tint Blush Stick, and it's so pretty. Look at that. So we're going to use, I'm going to use a brush like this, and I'm just going to touch the product. Maybe go into the palm of my hand so that it's not too much. And this is a Co Beauty slanted brush i don't know if it has a number let me see no it just says co beauty but it looks like this and it is um very similar to that bk beauty very similar to bk beauty 109 brush so if you are not in canada and you're someplace else and you can find co beauty then you can choose the bk beauty 109 very similar to that but if you're in canada you can find this co beauty brushes at Shoppers Drug Mart. They might have them someplace else, I don't know, but I know Shoppers Drug Mart has them. 
And this is my favorite Co Beauty brush. Such a beautiful red. It's not as intimidating as it looks here. So you can see how beautifully it transfers on the cheek. And you can also use this for your lips. So keep that in mind. Okay, so I think we're done with cream products on the face. Let's move on to my Huda Beauty powder. I had to pick this up. I wanted the pink one, but it's always out of stock. And this is in the shade Cupcake. Now, I don't bake, but I love this product so much. It looks like this. So it has a mash and the product comes in there. And it is just such a beautiful product for if you have dry skin. So I'm going to use one of these brushes. This is a BK Beauty 113, which you can see it's more fluffy and flat. And I'm going to go into this mash and just go around this area only because I still like to have a glowy face. But maybe the T-zone, I want to diminish the glow a little bit but you can still see that it's shining through and this powder does not dry your skin i have dry skin and i don't see any type of like cakiness on my skin and dryness so i'm not gonna use much that's about it whatever i have left on my brush I'm gonna bring it here, usually where I touch my face. So this product is amazing. And this, in the shade Cupcake, it still has a hint of pink. It's not as pink as the um, pink shade that it's always out of stock. I really wanted that, but since I bought this, I'm not gonna purchase that because I have my Givenchy powder as well. So I will, I will never run out of those and this. I think this is enough, especially when I have dry skin. I don't, I barely, I don't use much. Okay, so let's move on to the eyes. I'm going to zoom you in and let's do a very simple eye look. Okay, so I do have a lot of those Huda Beauty mini palettes that she came out with at first. But I really love this one, the Wild Jaguar Huda Beauty palette. And I love the tones in here. They're just so pretty. The mauves and... It has everything. It has a nice light shade. It has a nice dark shade for lining your eyes. I don't know what I'm going to do first, but first I'm going to start with adding this shade kind of all over my eyelid to prime them. Even though I've used my NARS Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Primer, this is all I use all the time. So yeah, let's make sure that there's no creasing. And I'm going to use... A lot of my brushes are dirty. So I have to wash them. So this is a Moda crease brush. I'm going to use this light shade and just apply it all over the eyelid just to set down that primer that we've used. So you can see how the difference, it's more on the mauve side, even though it's like a beige, but it has like a hint of purple, very light. I don't know how it transfers on camera, but that's what I see in real life. Now for, we're not going to do anything crazy, just something simple every day. Let's hope we're going to stick with that. But I'm going to use this nice lilac shade with the same brush and just put it in crease and above a little bit. It's such a nice side of purple. If you guys are interested in any of my Moda brushes, because they're just so cool and colorful, I do have a video on receiving a nice package from Moda and I will, in that video, I show you each brush and what each brush does. So if you are a beginner or not familiar with all these brushes and what brush to use where, that video is pretty detailed on how to use these brushes. And they're just so fun, so colorful and fun. Maybe I'll try remember to link that video down below. I'm going to try bring this lilac kind of all over the eyelid here. I'm going to use a uh, tart brush. This is a nice flat brush. And I think I'm going to go into this shade, which is a nice brown. And just add it on the outer corner here. For a very nice light smoky effect. Don't want to use too much smokiness on the eyes. I want more of an everyday eye look. 
And I'm gonna go in with my first brush. Very simple, just two brushes so far. And just blend this outer corner a bit. I think it looks very nice. But we need a little bit more the outer corner here. For the lid, I was thinking of just going with this shade right here. It's very nice purple, very subtle, and just put it in the middle and just bring it all the way to the inner corner. Just for a hint of sparkle. You can still wear this during the day, it's just so pretty. And that looks beautiful. That's it for the top lid. I'm not gonna intensify the look anymore. And I think on the bottom, I'm just gonna go in with the both shades. I'm gonna first go in with this purple, just to give it a hint of purple, and then I'm gonna go in with this brown. So I'm gonna start with a BK Beauty 207 brush. and go in with that purple, just to add a little bit of purple on the bottom. And I'm just going to bring it all the way in, this purple. Then I'm going to go into this brown right here. Ooh. And just intensify this outer corner here. I'm going to go with my first fluffy brush and just blend it a bit. I'm going to make it more soft. So I'm not going to use an eyeliner. I was going to use a Makeup by Mario, but we're going to keep it more Huda Beauty. So for my lashes, I don't have a Huda Beauty mascara, unfortunately. So I'm going to quickly do my lashes off camera and I'm going to use my L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara. This is in the shade Black. Quickly finish that. Enjoy this intermission and I'll be right back with lips. Here's a close-up of the complexion and the eyes. I love this mascara from the drugstore. This is all I use and I have a backup again. One coat and that's it. That, that's all I use, top and bottom. So one coat for one eye, one coat for another for top and bottom and that's it. It's just so pretty and still, I don't remember how much it costs, but much cheaper than Sephora. So yeah, this, I love this purple. Very nice and subtle, everyday type of look. You can don't even have to put shimmers if you don't wanna use shimmers during the day, but I think they're so subtle that you can barely notice them. And I just love it. Okay, let's move on to lips. So I love how my purple eye actually matches my purple lamp. That was not planned. So the only lip liner I have from Huda Beauty is, I think this is, I don't know if this is one of her first lip contours, but my mom bought this for me when I first started my YouTube channel, very close to the beginning. The Huda Beauty Lip Contour in the shade Bombshell. And it's kind of weird how the <laughs> top is right now. It kind of moves in and out, which is very strange. Anyways, let's quickly line the lips with this. It has more of a um, pink in it. It's not as nude as the color shows so we transfer a little bit more pink so i would probably choose more of a brown shade next time and my next product i have two i just got another one i don't know which one to use so i have the huda beauty liquid matte lipstick and this is in the shade sweet talker and this is a mini it came with one of my uh, makeup purchases from sephora I don't know. Look how beautiful that mauve is. But then I have my beautiful Huda Beauty Lip Blush. This is a tinted product in the shade Rosy Kiss. I love how you can use this on your cheeks and lips. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go in with this first and then we're gonna top it with this. So let's see because I love how this is a tint. So you can see it's not as intimidating as the actual packaging. So don't be fooled by the packaging if you wanna pick up this product. So you can even use this applicator to actually line your lips. It's very pretty. So 
let it dry a bit and let's see when we wash this off so you can see that the first product we applied comes off and there's the tint in that product which I really love this product for the lips it's such a beautiful shade I can try go over with this and see because I'm curious so let's go into this oh yeah so this you can see it's more brown than the pink I think that both of these products look really nice on the lips. I love how it gave it, it's very soft and it gave you a very nice um, soft satin finish on the lips. It's not like a lip gloss, but it's very pretty and it's really cute. You can carry this in your purse. I can't believe this is like a mini that you can just get for free or with points. I don't remember, was it with points? No, if you purchase like $35 or more on the Sephora website, this was one of the choices you can get okay so let's let's leave the clips in i love how my hair looks like that okay final thoughts what do you guys think first of all let me know your thoughts what was your favorite product in today's video or if you do have a favorite product by huda beauty or glowish which is still her brand i definitely recommend the bronzers you can't go wrong with the cream bronzer and the powder bronzer these are both so pretty I really love this glowish brightening sheer concealer and you cannot go wrong with her concealer that is more it provides more coverage but it's still very hydrating so you've noticed that I've never powdered underneath my eyes because I think that any of these concealers you can wear and I don't see any creasing at all nothing so I've never even touched my eyes you can see there's absolutely no creasing underneath there. So there's no need to add more product and add powder because that will eventually, more product will eventually crease. So definitely recommend those. I really love this powder, even for dry, mature skin. It's beautiful. I'm really loving this. So all these products, I don't know, I love everything. Like I went through everything. Definitely recommend the Huda Beauty complexion products. I don't like that full coverage foundation. I don't recommend that. It's too heavy, too cakey. I think even for an oily skin person, that would be too heavy. But everything else is just so beautiful and glowy and hydrating. And I can't believe that you can accomplish a um, nice, very soft and glowy look with all these Huda Beauty products. Anyways, that's it for me today. And I cannot wait to see you in my next one. Love you guys. Bye.